Well, it kind of started back when he was around five going on six. We was watching football and he was like, yeah, in about 18 years, I'm going to the NFL. And he was like, yeah, okay, that's funny. Growing up, everyone was just like, you're different. I was like, what does that mean? It was like, you're going to see one day, like you're going to go way further than anybody we ever seen. You know, the first year, Mike didn't even know what he was doing. He was just on the field. That's why we started calling him the water boy because he go out there, he'll tackle his teammates and the other team. But then the next year, it was different because he was really fast. And I would tell him, you know, if you want to score a touchdown, when you get the ball the one time, you got to score because it's like four running backs. Every time he like was doing a running back and it's like he get the ball, he seemed like he was scoring a touchdown. And I was thinking to myself, is it this easy? Because like other kids seem like they had a hard time doing it. But it seemed like he get a carrier too and he was in there. He would just leave from one sport to the next and you know, you would think he was training his whole life for that sport. And he'd just walk right on the field or the court and, and just do things so effortlessly. It's amazing to be able to witness the things that you know, he was able to do and, and is able to do. I think that comes from being the youngest, always having to battle your big brother and big sister, you know, so he figured, if I'm gonna lose to them, I'm not gonna lose them by my age group, and I'll play you up. He lives for the moment. He likes to be challenged. You know, when he's challenged, he just rises to the occasion. If there's something out there, oh, come on, let's go. I'm gonna lose, but before it's all said and done, I'm gonna be the best. That's just his mindset. My mom already had two kids and she had got pregnant with me. And she didn't know she wanted to have this baby because she couldn't afford it. So I was really contemplating on getting an abortion because I was like, I'm 24 years old. I'm already struggling as it is. I don't really want to have any more kids. At 2 a.m., we used to go to this church and the lady mother hall called my mom and was like, hey, like God placed it on my heart to call you. She said, don't do it. She said, have your baby. You just don't really know what you're giving up. And then my mom woke up again at like 4 a.m., like, you know, almost at the end of her pregnancy with the name the naming Micah. So I kind of feel like I got like a prophecy in this world to do something bigger than just football, really. But I think football is kind of like my way of connecting to the world. I said, but you know, you're going to probably be my biggest blessing. <laughs> he didn't grow up with a silver spoon in his mouth. It was, it was some hard times. There was some real hard times, and I know he don't want to struggle, and I don't want to see my kids struggle, so with that in his mind, develop a system of why I'm doing this. Without my dad, it would be a tougher road for me. I want to be there for Malcolm like that and more. Like, I've been through a lot at an early age where I hope I could, like, relate to him and, you know, be a better father. Really just help change his life, you know, give him some, like, a lot of things I never had. It's magnificent, honestly, you know, to be able to, you know, to block out all that background noise and still just keep elevating, just keep proving people wrong. I'd like to know if they know that Micah graduated early. You know, he, he graduated in December and he enrolled in Penn State early. You know, I'd like to know if they know that Micah, you know, he graduated from Penn State in three years. He really wasn't a school kid in the beginning, but he started to get the picture later on in life and getting that college degree was like, that was big for me because, you know, I didn't graduate from college. There was a lot of people doubt now. So, on top of having to be a, a great football player, they didn't do it academically. No matter what he does in the NFL, they can't take that from him. When he decided that he wanted to enroll early in Penn State, I didn't even know he was even talking about or even contemplating the thought. And then one day he came to me and he was like, Mom, I want to leave high school early. And I'm like, what? Why? He said, I think it's time for me to go ahead and finish high school and go off to Penn State. And I'm thinking to myself, really? I'm a diehard Penn State fan. But when he committed, I was like, man, it's kind of early. I want you to see what's going on. So when he decommitted, we made the visits, you know. God had other plans. Stay at home in your hometown and be the best you can be. When he went to Penn State, the day I dropped him off, we walked through the halls and he said, Mom, I want my name on this wall. And I was like, okay. I said, well, you know, son, whatever you put your mind to, you can get it. Yeah, COVID, you know, back then it was just something that hit, you know. He really wanted to play, but it was just 
so many unanswered questions and he was like, I'm just gonna go ahead and opt out and prepare. And I, I think it was the best decision he could ever make. Now the draft's gonna be in Cleveland, in person. You know, to see it on TV all your life and actually gonna be a part, like, that's a feeling you really can't describe, but when they call his name, yeah, it's gonna be, it's gonna be surreal. I think you're gonna get a competitive kid. You're gonna get a person that is gonna benefit to the team, change to a winning culture. You're gonna get a kid that loves to play the game. And you're gonna get a person that's gonna do anything for his teammates. A person that cares and a person that's gonna come in and impact that team right away. He's a hard worker. He's motivated. Whatever he put his mind to it, he goes out and achieve it. So he said he's gonna get that defense of a rookie player of the year. He's gonna get it, I guarantee you. At the end of the day, it's like, we're going to get the job done. Like, we're going to work and prove, like, whoever passed on me, passed on me for a reason. And we're going to show them why they should not It's something that he dreamed of since he was a kid. And I think just to be that person that our family can look up to, that he can somewhat be a provider and help us be in a better situation, I think that's going to mean the world to him. I mean, for the family, it's big, you know, like, who would ever thought, you know what I mean? March 26, 1999, in 2021, we could be going to the NFL. We got a gift, and he's trying to maximize it. I'm really excited. Like, I just want to go in there, put my head down and work, and let everything else do for itself. You know, obviously it's going to be a change, it's going to be a challenge, but I never back down from the challenge yet. I'm itching. I'm just waiting to get back on some grass, walk out there, you get that smell of that fresh grass and, you know, put my feet back into that grass and really just make some plays.